This would be a great Olympic event. Chased by bears. Would, wouldn't you rather watch the downhill ski slalom if a bear just randomly came out of the woods? It'd be way. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the ski would be, be over with quick. I would. I would tune in for that. We're just small town dudes with small town news, breaking stories of crimes committed. You never do mind your P's and Q's, or they'll cover you. The town may be small, but the news is huge. All right, I got a good one for you today, Sebastian. I look forward to it. What's the headline? Oh, check this out. A grizzly bear chased a skier down a mountain, and one horrified onlooker captured the video from a ski lift. (laughs) And we're going to look at the video here in a second. Um, This happened in Transylvania, Romania. You ever been to Transylvania, Romania? I've heard a lot about Transylvania, Romania. Yeah, there's at least one famous person I know from it's, Transylvania. Yeah. Also with fangs. Like not Yogi Grizzly the bear. bear. It's not Yogi the Bear. Um, but he does have <laughs> fangs, and he's thirsty for blood. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, people watched in horror as an unexpected skier on the slopes and a large brown bear in hot pursuit of a skier during one of the world's scariest downhill events. Um, what do you think? You want to look at the video? Let's, ha- let me show you I a little bit of this video, video okay. right here. Yeah, I like how he said hot pursuit. You know, that doesn't uh, Sheriff Buford T. Justice say hot pursuit? Yep. Check out this video right here. Deion Jackson, go ahead and play it. I'll talk over it a little bit. Um now, here you see, so look at the bear. The bear's behind him. The skier is just kind of like doo, 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 going back and forth nonchalantly. I don't even think the skier knows the bear is back there yet. There's no audio on this video, but there are people screaming at this guy. And I think he's oblivious. You know, maybe he can't hear. Maybe his toboggan's on too tight. <laughs> uh, but this bear is running straight at him, and he's going back and forth. And I was getting nervous for this dude. He's catching up. Look, he does. He gets closer. And uh, I I was thinking if the bear just sort of flipped over and slid on his back, he might have a better chance of catching the skier. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, how crazy is that? You ever been chased by a bear? I've never been chased by a bear, <laughs> but you know what? Yeah. If you ever get chased by a bear, if you're with someone else, yeah. As long as you're faster than the other person, you're fine. What do you mean? Like if me? Oh and yeah, you, because then if the, me and the you got chased person. by a bear, yeah. then I wouldn't be worried. Mm. If me and you got chased by a bear, yeah, I feel like I could outrun you. Hmm. Maybe so, but I feel like you're bigger, <laughs> and it ta- as a sprinter, I might be quicker. Long distance, you might catch me. But if we're going 10 yards, I got you. Do you think? If we're going 50 yards, we may have to, you're going to have to do a 40 out here. When's the last time you sprinted? <laughs> I've sprinted a lot. I bet you I've sprinted. I do, I do hip scotch and hop scotch. And, wow. Yeah. Well, let me continue reading yep. this story for you. Um, they said the uh, bear was in hot pursuit. I love that. I love it. Anytime someone says hot pursuit, it makes me think of Buford T. Yep. Justice. You know, um, maybe the maybe the skier is wearing a cowboy hat or <laughs> driving a Trans Am. <laughs> By the way, I would tell you to watch this um, because they also said um, it was a, a scary downhill event, which made me think, well, that sounds like the Olympics, and this would be a great Olympic event. Chase Bob. Would, wouldn't you rather watch the downhill ski slalom if a bear just randomly came out of the woods? It'd be way, I mean, the, the, the ski would they'd be over with quick. I would, I would tune in for that. We need to pitch that idea to I think the Olympics. You're right. We need to pitch that, it not not just for skiing, but other events too. You yeah, know? well, like during the summer Olympics when they do swimming, like we could get them chased by a shark. <laughs> yeah, not just bears. <laughs> I like it. Sharks, bears, all of it. You know, but if we're going bears, and I think maybe we're curling. You ever seen curling? It's boring. Curling? What? Oh my gosh. What's that? I've seen curling. This you don't know what curling is? Oh, ice shaving? Shaving. Oh my gosh. Now he's just messing with me. <laughs> uh, or how about the luge? Oh, bear on a luge? What? The, the, the luge. Right, uh, uh, Alan, can you mute right? his microphone? <laughs> 
Uh, skiers in the chairlift above, they said they tried to whistle and shout to distract the bear, but the animal wasn't falling for it. Instead, the bear made a beeline for the skier, and that's what we just saw. You can yeah. see he was going straight. Um, but what really confuses me is the term beeline. Yeah. They always said, like, that's the – a beeline, you know, if you're trying to get straight to something. But I've seen bees. They buzz around like this. They're doing figure eights in the – that's not a straight line. Be more like a um, – How is that like a straight – how is that faster? You know what I mean? You, that's a zigzag. That's what you do when you run from an alligator. You <laughs> right, zigzag. right. Yeah, yeah. if you're running from an alligator, you might want to ski that way. It would be um, faster as a crow flies. Well, I don't know about that. See, that's is another that, term what, I don't what's understand. What's faster? Yeah, what is faster? Leave it in the comment section. Is it faster as the crow flies or a beeline? Let me ask Elliot. Elliot's full of knowledge. What What does this mean? The crows uh, as fast as the crow flies or as the crow flies? Yeah. Well, it's, it's not meant to indicate speed. It's a nautical term. You know, in the, <laughs> the ships, the, like the, the pirates... They would be up in the crow's nest Ooh. because sometimes they would be uh, uh, transporting cages full of crows. So it's more about direction exactly. than speed. Mm. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Well, if the direction is south, as in downhill, then you might want to go as the crow flies. If the direction is backwards uphill where the bear is, maybe a beeline. Be- 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, and it says people were screaming at the uh, – we didn't hear it, but they – they said that there there were people in the ski lift screaming at the you know the skier like hey you know trying to stop him but that yeah. could be confusing too because if you're skiing right like I said you can't really hear that yep. great but if you saw people in a chairlift doing this trying to wave at you I'd probably stop and go yeah what's up you know and maybe, then then the bear has time to get me so maybe the bear run past you. <laughs> Maybe the bear keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Maybe the bear don't like things that stand still. Maybe the bear like a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that would suck. You're like, what? A bear? I don't want a bear. A bear? A beer or a bear, yeah. A bear is bear? What? Yeah. I just stopped for a beer and probably got killed by a bear. <laughs> In the video, you can see the skier just nonchalantly skiing back and forth, as we just saw. The bear is running a straight line. And everybody knows, and you brought this up, you don't run from a bear in a zigzag pattern. That's for alligators. That's only alligators. Right. Yeah, if you run in a zigzag pattern, you're going to get eaten like a zag nut. That's, yeah. what, that's what bears do. <laughs> serpentine, serpentine equals supper time, supper time for a bear. <laughs>